Hi everyone, this is Noah Sandler from MTJ Academy, and today we're going to be doing a uh, battle presented car 8 4. So let's jump into queue. Okay, so we've got Radiant Flames, Grip of Desolation, Core Entanglers, Miss Intruder. So I think the pick is Grip of Desolation. It's one of the best uncommons in the set. So we're passing Flames, Entanglers. So a little bit of red, a little bit of, like, I guess an ally, enabler, and a Miss Intruder. Okay, we've got Cryptic Cruiser, Horribly Awry, and Valakut Predator, also Ghostly Sentinel. It's overall pretty weak pack. I think I'm going to take Cryptic Cruiser. Um, it's probably better than Horribly Awry. And we've got two Devoid cards to start, one that exiles, one that's a processor, so doing okay. Um, Canopy Vista, I'll check how much that is. There's also a Sludge Crawler, Rune Processor, Bone Splinters Drone. If I take the Crawler, let's check how much Vista is. It is one. So we'll take the Devoid Enabler, or a uh, I guess processor enabler, the digest card. Um, so lumbering falls might need to take that for value. Uh, culling drone would definitely be the pick. Otherwise, so well, no falls is just one. So cool. Don't have to ray draft. Deck's looking pretty good so far. So we have Titan Coils, Demon's Grasp, Mind Raker. Um, I think Demon's Grasp might be the best card. Mind Raker is Devoid. Um, it is a processor. Uh, like the card itself is decent. Uh, it's never really broken. Um, so I think Demon's Grasp might just be better. And then Titan Coils could even be the best card here, but I think Grasp is probably a better piece of removal. Um, Breaker of Armies. Kind of expensive. Probably just take a Bone Splinters. Mars Malice is okay. And nothing great here. I'll take Voracious Null, I think. Or I guess we could be Black Red. I'll take the Vestige. We just have Cryptic Cruiser right now, so it could be Black Red Devoid. In fact, what was the pick before? Or I guess I took the Bone Splinters. That's fine. I think there were some okay red cards in that pack. I wasn't really looking at them. But Blue might not be open at this point. Okay, Salvage Drone, Spell Shrivel, Rune Processor, Grave Birthing, Processor Salt. I think I'll take the Rune Processor. It's kind of expensive, but it's a really powerful effect. Take Myers Malice. I suppose at this point we're probably still uh, blue black. Because, I mean, the Vestige of Embercool is not enough to push us into red. We'll take an Alter's Reap. And I guess some Mortuary Mire. Haven't played with this one. Uh, there's some decent green cards. Scour from Existence maybe could be played. So it does have synergy being a card that exiles. But seven mana is a lot and 
and the effect really doesn't compare to something like Rune Processor. So it was a solid pack one. Um, we first picked a good black card and got past some good uh, black and jest. Um, just not really seen a second color yet. Um, so yeah, we'll just stay with black and then look for our second color at some point. So we've got uh, Ugin's Insight. Card's really strong. And we would like to be blue black if possible. It's also a Mist Intruder. Um, it's not as good as Insight if we are blue, so we'll take that. So passing Herald of Kozilek, Chasm Guide, and there's a Fathom Feeder, Culling Drone, Deathless Behemoth, Transgress the Mind. Probably take the Fathom Feeder. We are blue, black, and jest. Yeah, it's the uh, best card in the pack. So another Demon's Grasp, Tightening Coils, Devastator, Horribly Awry. Um, I guess I'll take Horribly Awry. Looks decent enough. I mean, even if you don't get anything exciting with it, the fact that it exiles something uh, at, at... Like, you get a one-for-one, one and then you get something to process. This seems kind of cool. Um... I don't want too many Demon's Grasps, I think. I'd get a little clunky at 5 if I took one here, considering I've got the rest of the draft to go. Grave Birthing, Titan Coils. Uh, I think I'll take a Coils. Also Vampire and Wavewing Elemental. Uh, Grave Birthing's fine, uh, though the more... Um, the more ingest that we have, like, we already have quite a good number of ways to exile things, so, uh, like, the more of that you have, the less important something like Grave Birthing is. So we'll just take the coils. Uh, Dispel. Doodle for turn. Not much else here. Just get a sideboard card. Okay, uh, Carrow Thrall is pretty nice. Retreat, retreat to Coral Helm. Not so good. And yeah, Bone Splinters, so we'll take the Thrall. Definitely makes the Bone Splinters better. I'd actually like to pick up some more higher cost of permanence for the Ugin's Insight. The card's obviously going to be great. E, like, no matter the situation, it's going to be great. Um, but, yeah, it would be nice to get some more, like, three and four drops. Uh, so, Mineraker... At, at this point, this is probably pretty strong. Probably better than Rush of Ice. Because um, we have... Like, we should pretty consistently get cards exiled. And if this is 3-3, three, three, make your opponent discard a card, that is pretty strong. Um, Pathway Arrows... Seems like a decent cyborg card sometimes. Um, I'll take a Bladed Cataract, though, yeah, I did realize it basically costs 7 to sacrifice, rather than, I, I thought it cost 6, so it is pretty expensive, um, but still definitely worth running, like, at least one of, uh, these effects, the, the Cutterless Lands with the sack. And Anticipate. So a lot of blue this pack, I always hate Life Spring Druid. Not gonna play two Myers Malice. Uh, we did end up with an Eldrazi Devastator if we need that. I don't think we're gonna have that much ramp, so probably not gonna run it. But our deck is a little short on like powerful ways to finish the game. Has a lot of enablers, um, but other than the Rune Processor, um, I mean, if, if Pack Three goes horribly wrong, I could see running the Devastator just to have a uh, yeah, potential way to win the game. But Probably wouldn't want to play it since it's 
eight mana, and we don't really have much ramp. I think just the carrier thrall. Okay, conduit of ruin. That seems really good. So we can get a rune processor, or uh, I mean that would make me a little more likely to play the devastator. Uh, also, silent skimmer here. So, yep. Take conduit. Light herder. That could be really good. Get three spawn tokens if you remove two cards. Sure. So, this pack's going pretty well. Um, I mean, this is exactly what I was looking for. We've had a lot, we have a lot of enablers, and then just finding some good win conditions. So, Mindraker, Anticipate, Hagrid's Sharpshooter, Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. If you have seven or more lands, it adds two. That's unnecessary. Um, probably just take another Mindraker. Another Anticipate's fine, too. Uh, Tide Drifter, Salvage Drone. Silent Skimmer, Rising Miasma. So Drifter, Colors Confusion, you control, get plus O plus one. That's the Void. Um, it's okay. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's that great here. I mean, it does give an extra toughness to maybe half of our creatures, but it's just an O five. Um. Miasma. That's pretty good. It kills some of our stuff, but it's still is a nice effect to have, I think, and has Awaken. I'll probably take that. Uh, Salvage Drone or Sound Skimmer would also be decent picks here. Uh, I guess just a Night Watch as a 5 drop. Elemental might be better. Probably not going to run either. Okay, uh, adverse conditions. Defiant Bloodlord. We'll take conditions. Let's probably cut the Night Watch. Um, we're at 20 right now. Probably put in the Devastator. Because now we have Blight Herder to ramp into it in addition to the Conduit of Ruin to grab it and make it cheaper. And we haven't been getting uh, any XL effects lately, so I'd like to pick up just a little bit more, maybe one more out of the rest of the draft. Uh, there's a Mist Intruder in Dominator Drone. Um, I think Mist Intruder is the more important one. So that's better than I would have expected. Um, to get a great enabler like that. It's like we're completely skipping our three drops. But we've got a lot of twos, so I don't think that's a problem. Plus it's just a slow format, so curving out isn't that important. I feel like not playing the Mortuary Mire. I don't know. Um, I mean, if opponent kills a creature like super late game, it could be good if we get one of our fatties back. But anywhere before turn like six, I, I don't think it's going to be that great. If they kill a Fathom Feeder, I guess I'd want to get it back. Maybe if they kill a Miss Intruder early. Whoa, this pack. Um, Reclaimer. Do we have enough instants and sorceries for that? I mean, Ukin's Insight, Grip of Desolation, would obviously be insane. Adverse Conditions would be good. Um, anticipate, fine. Merc Strider. We could also just get a Sludge Crawler. Gosh. 
gosh, this seems close. I think I'm going to go Crawler. But yeah, that Reclaimer could be pretty insane late game. Uh, considering we can get Insight, Grasp, Grip back with it. Um, I mean, Adverse Conditions would also be pretty strong late game. So, I don't know, that seems close, but I guess just more enablers. We do have a lot of things to process, so I think enablers is slightly better to pick up, but that seemed really close. Let's hate a call the scions, I guess. Hate a Bailoth, I'm not going to play the shrine ever. So I'm going to want to go 18 lands. Last cut could be a Devastator. So I might have enough to do with these Awaken cards that I don't need to have uh, just an extra fatty. The uh, Miasma now does kill a good amount of my creatures. Um, and you can try to find a way to to play so that it doesn't hurt you too much, and it could definitely side out in some matchups. Could maybe even leave it in the board to start. Um, because I am looking for a cut here. Cause on turn four I should have a couple small creatures on the board. So Yeah. It, it might not be the perfect fit. Some matchups it's good, some it's not. And I do have to make a cut. Um, I think the Bone Splinters is fine. We've got a few ways to make tokens. Um, and we have enough just like smallish creatures that become less value in the late game, uh, less valuable in the late game, so I like it. And don't want to cut any of the twos. Or the fours, really, maybe the Miasma. I think Myers Malice is probably better here. I think I'll cut the Miaz Miasma and just side it in. And then, yeah. Devastator, Miasma, I think are pretty close. But let's do this. Nine, eight. That seems fine. One Cataract. So we'll submit, and I'll see you for round one. Okay, ready for round one. Uh, this hand has three lands, uh, three clunky hill giant four drops, Anugan's Insight. And the Insight is certainly nice with the four drops. Um, it is kind of a slow format. We're on the draw. This seems really close. I mean, we've got the new mulligan rule. So, Mulligan's probably fine. We could get a little more explosive start. Um, but if we do draw one of our uh, Devoid Enablers, or if we draw some lands, I think this hand could be fine. If we don't get run over too quickly. Because so we get to scry four and then draw three. Um, if we get an island in our land, I think I'm going to keep this. Okay, opponent starts with a blister pod. They they put a card on the bottom, and we draw an island. So we do have like we we can cast our four drops, and we have the second island for Ugin's insight. So that's pretty good. Hopefully, we draw one of our uh, in ingest cards, uh, so we can turn on the mine rakers. Plays anticipate. OK, 
Okay, play a 3-4. Cloud Manta. So that is kind of rough. Um, we'll go with Cryptic Cruiser, but we're taking six damage minimum next turn. So, yeah, opponent actually had a pretty fast start. Um, like 1 1 turn 1, and then a 3 4 turn 3, 3 Power Flyer in turn 4 uh, on the play. So, yeah, this, this isn't the kind of start that we're able to come back from, I think. This is going to be a rush of ice or clutch. Be pretty brutal. Yep, rush. So we go to seven, and we're basically dead. Yep. We can kill one of his guys, but he still gets in for seven. So, yeah, that, that was pretty quick. Um, yeah, I mean, my hand was very slow. Uh, felt close to a mulligan, but. Yeah, if opponent did, had, yeah, and they uh, they already were mulliganing to six, so if they didn't have a very fast start, I think my hand would have been okay, and it did have a lot of card advantage once it get going. Still, might have been a mull. Um, so I think Miasma's probably good there. It kills that three-two flyer, and the one-one doesn't deal with the three-four. Um, but they seem kind of aggressive. I think I might want it. Um, and since they're fast, I think I'm just going to take the Devastator out. Just speed my deck up a little bit. So we'll play first. And I think keeping is okay. We can anticipate for a swamp. Slower than I'd like, I and mean, you want to go for the turn one sludge crawler for sure. And if we draw a swamp, I guess I'll play it on turn two. So opponent puts a card on top. I have the blister pods so that stops or. Yeah, it doesn't fully stop our sludge crawler, but makes it a lot less good. So we have to spend a turn to pump it when they block, and then they'd have a 1-1, one, one. we'd have to do a similar thing afterwards. So we'll go for anticipate. Oh, I should do it end of turn, but not a big deal. Um, and yeah, we'll take the swamp, putting grip on the bottom. Mine Raker. I guess I throw the crawler out. I could hold it and hope to miasma maybe hit two things. Okay, Sky Spawner. Yeah, Miasma would be pretty sweet. I mean, I guess I attack with Sludge Crawler and then Miasma. They'll probably block with the Blister Pod. That way I can take their whole board out. They take it. Wow. Um, okay. Didn't expect that. Um, I think I just mine rake or make him discard. I think. 
I mean, they could play another two toughness creature. Uh, I mean, they might. They might just ramp into something big, but if they were going to ramp into something big, they would have blocked with the blister pod. I think so. Not really sure what they're doing there. It kind of looks like their little mana screwed because they they did play the Coas land f early, where because they have the stalwart. Like if they had a lot of colored mana, they'd they'd be playing that first. So discard salvage drone. I'm pretty confused. I mean, maybe they just want to use. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like they should have blocked with blister pod. I mean, they could have maybe been playing around miasma, but it just seems like a good spot for them to. Um, block, like force me to pump, take up my turn, and then they still get an Eldrazi spawn out of it. So here they're just passing. So play land. Um, still kind of confused. I mean, they took it last time. I guess I got attack again. They might just take it again. I guess I can just block the blister pod and then sack the blighted uh, woodland. I guess so. Yeah, I'll, I'll pump. Slows me down. <sighs> um, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't pump. I go for anticipate. Okay. I could also just let it die and then go for Miasma, and then I wipe the board except for the Raker. That might be better. And this way they can actually cast something big off the Scions, and I don't care too much about the Sludge Crawler at this point. And then, you know, it does take up the rest of my turn either way. So yeah, I think I should have just let that die and gone for Miasma. Though maybe they just play uh, that 3-2 flyer here. Can always hope. Okay, so they send everything. Might mean that they're planning on sacking the Scions. Cause it'd still be a reasonable play for them to just leave one back to block, force me to pump, and maybe sack to sack their woodland, get the swamp. Okay, just pass. Myers Malice, not bad. Uh, opponent definitely has some reasonable cards in their hand. They're stuck on lands, so Let's send everything. See if we can exile another card. We do get to. Forest. Um, they're probably sacking and going for woodland here. Um, I guess they could have that counter spell that awakens. They could sack both for that. But I'm going to go for cruiser. In this spot, I'm not quite as excited about using the miasma. Like, I am trading two permanents for one and two tokens. Or, I mean, I'm trading a permanent plus a spell for one and two tokens. Compared to just putting another creature on the board, um, yeah, I do have a two turn clock. The cruiser can tap down something, so uh, I'm putting a lot of pressure on opponent. So, yeah, I'd rather do that than clear the board.
opponent taps six. Warren Reef Hydra. Never land on his battlefield, counter on it, land if it's forest, put two counters. Okay, so we'll take one here. Draw a crawler. So uh, we could attack with everything and maybe get the miasma off. Um, we could coils the hydra, attack with everything, pump the crawler once, and play another crawler. Definitely have some options here. I think clearing the board is pretty reasonable. Opponent would get to cast like one more thing, and then I can maybe clear their hand with Myers Malice, and then I still have uh, Coils, Crawler, Processor, and I might not actually clear the entire board with this play. Um, and then other option, I could attack with just Mindraker and see what they do. I feel like I should probably go for coils. Yeah, I'm going to do coils. The other plays are fine, but this keeps the pressure on. Uh, keeps getting some damage through. And keeps the cruiser in play. I, I have a card exiled, so... This seems nice. And then opponent doesn't have any lands in hand. So first of all, I just have to draw land to pump the Hydra, and they need to draw a forest to give it actual power. Okay, buck like that. I'm going to pump once and then play a Crawler. So now I'm not that interested in using the Miasma. Exile another card. Opponent's at 7. Play a Crawler. Opponent very quickly is casting something. Drowner of Hope. That's worth casting quickly. So, what does this say? Sacrifice a Scion, tap a creature. Jeez, you don't have to pay any mana? That's pretty good. Um, I can use Rising Miasma to just stop any more taps from happening. Fathom Feeder. That's that's pretty good. Um, so we can declare attack step. Just see what opponent does. It's probably the best play, regardless of what we want to do. Okay, they let us attack. So ton of options here. Um, We want to make sure we don't die on the swing back. Uh, we could could send everything and just consider going for a miasma afterwards. Um, we could just send the crawlers and the mine raker. No, we probably want to send everything. We might lose the cruiser. I think we send everything. Worst case, we can still just tap the Drowner down next turn. So, like, we're not we're not taking lethal next turn, no matter what. And we might take out the entire board except for a Mind Raker. Kind of depends if opponent is going to put us on Miasma. Like, I made a play earlier that might have look like they had it. Okay, this is perfect if they block like this. Good. So, this lets us get uh, an almost full clear, except we have to keep a 3-3 in play. So that worked perfectly. And 
hope we draw land next turn. If opponent goes like land, casts one thing, we draw land, we get to Myers Malice their hand and get a 3 3. That could be the game. Tap in five for something. So hopefully it's not too devastating. Okay, rush of ice. That's pretty strong. I mean, it's scary. Um, we could die to a top deck. We draw the land. Um, geez, how afraid are we? I mean, I'm not that afraid of dying to a top deck. We go to three. I mean, if we can cast this Rune Processor, gain five life, get a huge creature, that should be game. The question is, do we just Myers Malice, make them discard their hand, play Fathom Feeder, uh, trade it off for the island, and then just hope to get Processor out? Like, we'll be at... We'll be at three life. We'll be at six life if we can block, and then just need to get the processor out. Uh, we'll still have a three three for next turn, um, and then yeah, the other play, we Myers Malice. We get the three three. Uh, then opponent attacks us to three, might die to like another. I don't know, but like another rush of ice or clutch, I think kills us anyway. So we don't necessarily have to play around that. Um, so we, we do get an extra 3-3 three, three this way, but I mean, we have two 3-3s, three, we can't deal lethal to our opponent, so it might not matter too much. But uh, going for the Myers Malice, like if opponent draws uh, like the 3-2 flyer, um, then we'd rather just cast the Malice here. So I'm just going to cast it. But, I mean, we're, we're giving up a 3-3 three, three on a, a pretty even board, uh, which could definitely be important. Um, a lot of times we're just going to win. Like, opponent's going to break out for a couple turns. We just keep attacking for three. Uh, we draw a land or... Let's see, so opponent was maybe a man away from casting their Devastator. Okay, they don't attack. Um, interesting. You can pay five, draw a card each opponent, exiles the top card of the library. Um, I mean, drawing cards here is really good, because if we can get one more land, we gain five, and the game is pretty much put out of reach. So I think we just attack with the Mine Raker. Uh, might as well draw the card now, because if we get a land, we can cast Miss Intruder, and then we'll just leave back the feeder. Attacking with both is also okay. I don't really hate trading either one, especially if we're already going to be able to pay the five to draw the card. I mean, that means we're going to get two more cards toward either a land or some other spell that... Like, if we draw two spells so we can't cast Processor, we're probably going to be able to cast some stuff. You know, we're, we're going to play something good. Um, so there aren't that many scenarios where we're not still in a really good like a, a winning position. Um, but we pretty much just need to draw one card off this. Uh, that said, I think just attacking with the Raker is fine. We still have potentially lethal for next turn. Uh, put a might block with the island, and, and that's okay. Alright, they don't. Let's use Feeder. Leave up a blue so we can cast Intruder if we draw a land. And we do. Okay, 
catacomb sifter um that's annoying um makes her ground attacks a little weaker but I might just send island here I think that's a pretty good play and I think I'm gonna block we're gonna go processor um, I guess trade the raker off for the catacomb sifter um, I like keeping my left toe a little bit higher so opponent gets a scry I do scry to the top but that's going away so that's not a big deal um, let's attack with both the opponent might put Scion, they might put the token on the Raker um, just to get extra scry uh, or they double block so since they double blocks we'll just kill the sifter so we get to ingest they put stalwart on top then processor. Give them a forest back. And we're looking good now. Okay, there's the Cloud Manta. That's a pretty good draw for them. And we still have the 7 8. And, it's, and yeah, we drew Cataract, so draw another two cards. I don't think we have any more one drops in the deck, so I'll just wait to opponent's turn. I guess we have uh, Bone Splinters left, I think. Ugin's Insight. Wow. That's pretty good. Um, this is Demon's Grasp. And attack for the win. But Scry 7 draw 3 would be pretty nice as well. Okay, so opponent's deck pretty strong. We've got those 6 drop bomb rares. Some good tempo. And a lot of just 1 1s for 1. Scour from existence, that almost looks good. His opponent has those like six drop and eight drop bombs. Um, Demon's Grasp does deal with, can deal with both the six drop ones. So, do we want to cut anything? Blade Herder, that's all good. Could try to get the scour in. Maybe for horribly awry. I'm going to draw. We could counter their stalwart or the catacomb sifter on uh, on turn two. Though we do have a lot of turn two plays anyway, so might not always have it up then. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it. I think on turn two, like between pumping crawlers or the other two drops I have, I'm not likely gonna have. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to leave up two mana. So, and that's really the spot I'm gonna want to use horribly awry. So, I think I'm gonna put scour from existence in. I think opponent's deck, while they are pretty fast, um, they do have a few of those really important bombs. Um, so, just having like a, a pretty much direct answer to those. Uh, even though it's 7 mana, I think is going to help in the long run. So in this spot, I'd definitely rather have the Horribly Awry than the Scour. Um, but my reasoning was, you know, we were going to have 2 drops. We do have a 2 drop that we're going to cast. So we're not going to counter one of the important 3 drops. And Mist Intruder is nice. So that's going to be our turn 2 play. And they play Woodland, uh, which again means they might be a little bit mana screwed. 
Uh, it really shouldn't be their their first, like their second drop. Oh, they have horribly written. Okay, anticipate. Uh, though with between anticipate, and then you know once they get up to five mana with the green, they get to double search, so they may not be in too much trouble. Okay, I have a swamp. Reveal their hand, a card with very many costs, three or greater, and exile it. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. So, had we had um, Horribly Awry, they would brick with Transgress the Mind. That would be pretty huge. So, that's a little unfortunate. So we'll run out the Fathom Feeder. And it's pretty good for a flooded hand. An opponent doesn't have uh, any action so far. And we get our first ingested card. It's a forest. Which looks like they don't have any forests, so that was good. And they just pass. And we have Conduit of Ruin, that's really nice. So, yeah, let's keep ingesting. Send both. Maybe I can exile all the forests from their deck. We got Swamp Island. I eh, probably didn't care too much about those. So we'll pass. It's unfortunate to have to pass with four mana up when we've got this five mana ability. Um, but we do have Conduit Rune, and they have to ship back again. We draw a land, so this time we can activate the Fathom Feeder. We could maybe mill opponent. Hit island and uh, salvage drone. I'll just wait to to fathom feed. Hopefully they don't draw the forest. Ah, I should have done it. Should have just gone for it. Though I will do this in response to them sacking woodland. Like if for some reason they ran, which I don't think they have. I think we would have seen it by now. But if they had a random uh, like mountain left in their deck to get more converge, uh, there'd be a chance of us exiling it. But clearly should have done on my turn, hit that forest. So now I have plenty of mana. Um, but we get to go Conduit of Ruin. And search for that Ruin Processor. And as we're not about to be ingested, um, should be able to get that into play. Okay, it took a swamp in to Juru Stalwart. So we haven't gotten rid of any of the bombs, so they probably have some of those. There's a Drowner of Hope. So Processor costs two less. One, two, three, four. Five. We'll give them a land back, gain five. And then I think we want to go Tiny Coils on the Drowner. Sure. We'll attack with both of these. They probably want to chump. I mean, they could have just tapped if they wanted to, but... Huh. Okay, chumping with Drowner. Interesting. And we hit an Anticipate. We have 14 cards left. Okay, Eldrazi Devastator. Rising Miasma. Probably not what we want here. Um, I do like drawing cards. 
and milling um, as well. So what is this? The first creature spell you cast is from across one less or two less. So you can play drone a little cheaper. So let's use Fathom Feeder here. Uh, I guess I should have left up double black. Well, it didn't matter. So they hit a Mind Raker. So not worth making like a big attack here. I think we can send both of these. If opponent wants to trade Fathom Feeder for their Devastator, I think that's okay. I mean, even though Fathom Feeder is definitely milling opponent out here. Oh, we hit Processor Devastator? Jeez. That's brutal. Alright, let's just throw the whole hand out. I mean, we're close to winning with an all-out attack. I mean, we, we... I think we do... Yeah, we do currently. And I'm not really afraid of much mass removal. Uh, miasma would definitely hurt. Okay, Cloud Manta, it's annoying. And Catacomb Sifter, also annoying. So, opponent is pretty much stabilized here. Well, nope. Um, that should end all stabilization efforts. I think it's just the Devastator. And we'll hit an island. Now I mean, we, we can send Processor, Conduit, and yeah, but I'm just going to concede the match. So that's round one. I'll see you for round two. Okay, ready for round two? We'll play first. Sand's fine. Better version of the hand I kept in the first match. It says we actually have something to interact with, the Horribly Awry, which exiles something so we can use Cruiser at least once and then uh, we're just one island away from using Insight with Cruiser to scry four and draw three, and just go from there. Okay, we got the second island we needed. Opponent's got turn one lookout. If they play that three one, I'm definitely going to counter it. Yep. And Fathom Feeder, nice. This might hold opponent back with their 1-1. One, one. Okay, black-white allies, it appears. So we'll just take one. And complete disregard, okay. Hopefully our cruiser survives. Evolving Wilds. I'm just gonna main Insight. If opponent had Disregard, they would've used it and attacked for one. Oh wow, Stasis Snare? Okay. It's pretty good. Uh, we still draw the three, so that's good, but yeah, it's kind of surprising. I mean, I guess they wanted to save it for something bigger, see if I played something. I think that's reasonable. Um, they've got one card exiled. We've got Blight Herder. Could try to get the drone through and then get a bunch of one ones. Or we could just play a four or five.
Mercury Griffin. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with Drone. And we'll pass, see what opponent does. Uh, perhaps they'll attack with Griffin, play some kind of medium sized creature like Territorial Bale, then we can grasp it and ingest a second card. And turn on our herder. So they just pass. Mind Raker. And I want to do the herder. Um, can't really grasp an attack because they could just trade Lookout for Calling Drone. Um, I might just go for Raker, remove one. And they're going to discard a card that's sort of useful. They've got three spells in hand. Uh, and then if they leave up a bunch of mana, they can hold off the Raker. Um, I I guess on the other hand, I could just go for Blight Herder, just get the 4-5 into play. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Play a land. I mean, getting the 1-1 tokens is certainly nice, but they may just sit on the board for a while. They might eventually just be chumps. Okay, Demon's Grasp. When sitting back, I can grasp the griffin and get in with the drone. I think I do that. Opponent could have a six drop that I'd want to kill. Yeah, maybe I'll just wait. So we have two cards in hand, so this card Tandem Tactics. Alright, I'll play a land. I could draw something and want to play Grasp. One, two, three, four, five, and a four drop in the same turn. Fertile Thicket. Another land. Sure would like that Fathom Feeder back. So we just don't have much of a play here. Uh, I think I'm just going to ship it back. We could grasp the griffin and start attacking with the raker, but I mean, parts at 22, they're going to find a way to deal with the raker at some point. So I'd rather just try to find a better um, target for the demon's grasp, like this guy. Oh, uh, let's see. I guess. I guess that's fine. I could have done it in response uh, to Grasp, but if I just wait till my turn, like I'll take three and then I can swing back. Oh, it's Sorcery Speed, my bad. I thought it was an instant. Maybe the card's worse than I thought. Um, wow, yeah, I was playing as if it was an instant this whole time, so... Yeah, glad we got that resolved. Alright, I'm gonna send everybody here, though. Yeah, like, I think it's likely opponent's gonna cast something on their turn. Um, Alright, we hit a McKinney Patrol. That's actually pretty nice to get rid of. So opponent has Ondu Rising. Okay, that's a rough one. So I could consider just, uh, oh. 
but they attack with more. This game's looking pretty bad. Um, gosh, I think I double block, have them pump. If I just take it, I go to six, and then there's just two swings of the Courier Griffin. So I think I buy more time by just trading off my board here. And hopefully find an answer to the Griffin. Doesn't look like it's forthcoming. Guess we did draw 13 lands, that's kind of a lot. Fourteen lands. Okay, so game two. Now that stasis snare. Miasma. That should be good. We should have a good amount of uh, small creatures to kill. Like, they do have that 1 1 for 1. So it, it should be good enough to run. Uh, horribly awry. Maybe cut that. Devastator seems pretty good. Yeah, I'll cut a rye, I guess. Not too sure about that. Don't want to make the deck too clunky. Okay, this hand looks a lot different than the hands we've had so far. This is very cheap and aggressive. We have the Bone Splinters Carrier Thrall combo, which is nice, and we might be able to ingest a lot of cards. Okay, opponent thickets finds a swamp, puts it on top. An island. Let's go for culling drone. Let's just get in as much ingest as we can in the early turns. Oh, I guess we're getting the swamp anyway. We have evolving wilds. There we draw a swamp. That's good. So we'll attack with both and play carrier thrall. And getting these early attacks in just you know, really turns on the rest of our deck. So, even though this format, like the damage we're dealing, it it t it doesn't add up really. Like I think a lot of games end with like a card or two that finish an opponent off, rather than uh, like a combination of a lot of life or like a combination of a lot of hits early. Oh, they have Myers Malice. That's definitely worth con like thinking about. Um, Let's go for Carrier Thrall. Our Carrier Thrall. Okay, complete disregard on the crawler. And we'll get in for four, hold on to the Mars Malice to awaken it. A 
Exile Beastmaster. Opponent has a vampire. Might shut us down. We've got Conduit. That'll be a nice turn six play if we can draw land. Uh, how much life gain is the opponent going to have? Might not matter. Um, if we go for Bone Splinters here, uh, we do get to put opponent to 10 and, and ingest another card. Um, but, I mean, we don't yet know about their life gain. They might play something scarier. Uh, though the Bone Splitters gives us a 6 mana for Conduit. So, like, all in all, I think that that makes it worth it. In front of the two. Hit a lookout. Wouldn't mind them drawing that. So they have their second light. They could stay so near something. Serene Steward. Pass, so well, it's kind of scary. I mean, tandem tactics, tandem tactics isn't that scary here. Because they can't pay the white. So it's still like a one for one. Um, I'm not thinking of the other life gain they could have, so I think I attack with the drone. And hopefully they just uh, block and trade. Or if they use tandem tactics, that's fine too. Okay, I just take it. So ingest. So we'll port cutthroat. And yeah, I think I go for conduit. Uh, if they have stasis snare, it's annoying because I'll have a seven mana card on top and I'll just have five lands in play. But they might not have that. So, yeah, if they, if they don't have Stasis Snare, this is a pretty strong play. And, I mean, the game shouldn't be over that quickly, so I don't think this is that bad. I mean, I, I think I get the processor here. Because, um, yeah, it's the one I can cast. Even though 8 9 Trampler is pretty sweet. I guess I could also have Demon's Grasp to kill it, but I don't think it's that bad. Like, I, of all random cards I could draw next turn, I, I don't think uh, drawing the 7-drop is that bad. Okay, opponent gets in for 3. I have 2 cards in hand. I'm going to hold on to the Malice for one more turn, so let's go for Anticipate. I'll do that now. Um, Blight Herder, that's pretty sick. Let's take that. That's awesome those lands are in this spot. So we'll attack for two again. Hit a swamp. Candy Patrol. lands, so let's just make them discard their hand. Like, I don't know what they have. Don't really care. Um, let's just get rid of it. Might tactics in response and put a counter on something. Or stasis near the drone, maybe.
and we'll just F6. So assuming they don't have another Myers Malice, um, yeah, we're going to get a ton of value off these processors, all the early ingests that we had. Um, would be cool to get rid of that forest. Um, but let's just go for Blight Herder. I'm just going to pass this turn. Okay, got the concession. So, opponent showed us some lands. Yep. Not close to as many as I had last game. Um, this one has a 2 2 cutthroat lookout. Um,. I don't know, uh, I might not want the uh, Miasma. It's definitely close, like, it. there's a lot of variance with this. There are some openings opponent could have where I could really wreck them, but they, they also have a lot of three toughness creatures, um, which you can, yeah, you can set up okay situations where you attack into them and, and, and trade up. Um, but yeah, I think this horribly arise probably gonna be a little better. All right, let's try it. Uh, opponent is choosing to play last. Uh, we'll keep this. Uh, turn two intruder. Tightening coils for something scary. Carrier thrall. Slow opponent down. Hopefully we can get through with the intruder a few times before it's dealt with. And can just, you know, similar last game, set up uh, the processors for late game. Opponent revealed the planes there. Stasis Snare. Can't complain about that at all. And we're trying to draw land so we can Mine Rake. Didn't get it. Yeah, our hand is definitely mana hungry. And we hit a Castigator. Just got a pass. Okay, got the vampire. Sludge crawler. Probably coils the vampire. Or I could just uh, like block it with the thrall. But I mean, even one spawn isn't doing too much for me right now. Like, I don't want to use it to cast the Mine Raker. Eventually to cast the Conduit I think is going to be good, or maybe to cast Grip. But, yeah, I feel like Coils on this is fine. Opponent seems to have a, a reasonable amount of life gain, so I think that's a pretty good value. So I guess if they have a flying creature, I might want to use it to keep getting the Miss Intruder through. I still have Grip of Desolation eventually. Okay, 
passing. Still really need that mana. Um, they just pass a bunch of mana up. What could this be? Oh, that arrows card. I guess we'll just attack with intruder. Alright, hit tandem tactics. I mean, they use Thicket to find a land, so you can't imagine that they're too flooded. We got Beastmaster. Alright, I better draw some lands quickly. This is getting a bit absurd. So lagging out a bit. Nope. Four drop. Alright. This is definitely a way I could lose this game. Got a pass. Rising Miasma. Ouch. Well, it's pretty rough. Um, I mean, if I can get a couple more lands, I can grip. Uh, I mean, if I can't draw lands, can't win this. I mean, if I if I drew a land there, could play Raker, um, like block or deal with something, and then grip the Beastmaster, kill the Swamp. Tanglers, yeah, this is over. That's a shame. That was a really great start, but obviously just missed like seven land drops or something. I'll chump here. Might be our only opportunity to. Feeder, not the worst draw, but any ally, and that's game. That'll do it. So, yeah, pretty pretty good match. Um, shame to miss all those land drops, not be able to get to the finals, but uh, yeah, our, our deck was pretty powerful, had some really nice rares. Uh, a lot of synergy, the early ingest cards set up really powerful late game plays with the processors, that's how it's supposed to be done. Uh, Demon's Grasp is a sorcery, not an instant, so we learned something there. Uh, and that's about it, so hope you enjoyed it, learned something, and I'll see you next time.